It's time to celebrate. So what are we celebrating? We are celebrating bravery, leaps of faith, stepping forward in the face of fear and insecurity. I'm only kind of kidding. <laughs> As some of you know, I am Lindsay Murphy, the creator and host of the Fab Lab with Crazy Aunt Lindsay, which is a kid's science show that I have been doing pretty much in secret for about six years before I left my very full-time job at a very cool, fancy advertising agency here in Portland, Oregon, to see what was possible, what I could turn the show into with a little elbow grease and fortitude. Uh, and that's exactly what I did. And time has just sort of flown by. A year can feel like a very short period of time when you are putting out fires, trying to figure out how you're gonna make it to the next day. And friends and mentors have all been encouraging me in the past couple of months to just stop and smell the roses, take inventory of where I've been, what I've been able to accomplish this year. And so for my birthday, about 10 days ago, I sat down, opened up my gratitude journal. Yes, I have a gratitude journal, I'm one of those. And wrote down all the things that I can remember doing. And as that list got longer, I was more and more shocked at what happened. And I wanna share that list with you because I'm really, really stoked on it. And I also wanna make two incredible announcements. Have you guys ever been on a panel? Well, I was on seven this year. Yes, seven, including three at Portland State University, Rose City Comic Con, Google, Harvard, and even Ladies Get Paid. <laughs> I give three keynote speeches, one at Portland Community College, Girl Scouts Summer Camp, and even gave a creative morning. I also won three incredible honors this year. Portland Business Journal gave me the Small Business Innovation Award. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated hit me with a Women of Excellence Award in Education. And I also won the $10,000 first place prize at Pitch Black PDX. I was the two-time host of TEDx Portland, Shot 12 videos with On She Goes. I even did a five-part series with Travel Oregon where I traveled all seven regions of Oregon. I got a ton of incredible press. I made appearances on local channels like KPTV and KPW Portland today. It wasn't all fun and games. I did get down to business. Let's get down to business. This year, I was able to acquire four new sponsors and make six brand new episodes of the show. Thanks to companies like Blue Star Donuts, Ruby Receptionist, Switchboard, and Clarity Innovation. Three out of four of those are women owned, by the way. I was able to make Black History Month and Women's History Month content that you can see on the channel right now. I also incorporated my business, moved into an office, and even hired a lawyer because lawyers make everything real. And most important, impact. The audience and engagement more than doubled this year. That means more kids and more families fell in love with science. When I look back on all this stuff, I'm super inclined to think to myself, wow, I'm so lucky. How did this happen? And then I remember something really important. I worked super hard for this. Now, while a lot of this stuff seemed to just kind of come out of nowhere and wasn't necessarily a part of the plan, it very much so happened on purpose. And I am so grateful for all of you who have been with me on this crazy ride for the past seven years, or even if it's only been a couple of months. Thank you. But I promise you one thing, I'm dreaming a whole lot bigger, which brings us to the announcements. The new home of the Fab Lab across all social media and channels is the official Fab Lab. The website is still thefablab.com. This is a big deal because for the past six or seven years, it's been all over the place. Crazy Aunt Lindsay here, Aunt Lindsay there, the Fab Lab over there, and a whole bunch of stuff in between. Now it's super streamlined and everyone can find everything in the same place at the same time. It's great. <laughs> And now for the big announcement. That's super scary, but awesome, but freaking me out. Let me explain. On June 14th, in just a couple of weeks, I'm going to launch my second crowdfunding campaign. Now, some of you may remember, back in 2014, we were able to raise $12,000 to help finish the third season of the Fab Lab. Because of many of you, I was able to get this camera, these lenses, these hard drives, this new computer, editing software, and hire an editor. His name is Wes. He's pretty great. Thank you. 
And because I had exceeded my $10,000 goal, I was able to give $500 to one of my favorite after-school STEM programs, the Big Brain Superheroes Club that's up in Seattle, Washington. And this year, I want to raise $50,000. I'd like to produce 24 brand new episodes of the Fab Lab. That's about four times the amount that I have ever been able to do at any time in the past. And I'd really love your support. I'll have so much more for you on June 14th, but right now I wanna ask you to do two favors. First, please go like the official Fab Lab all over the internet. And also make sure you sign up for the pre-launch page that I will also link below. Stick your email in and be the first to know when the campaign goes live. So that's it guys, my big celebration and my two big announcements. I just wanna say thanks to all of you guys for being on this incredible ride with me. And just so you know, we're not done. <laughs>